Hi, I lately attended a webinar about behavioral design and I was blown away about it, so I had to share this with you. The idea behind behavioral design is that our brain is actually quite lazy, or let's call it energy saving. We will always try to find the easy way. So it's our motivation minus the friction. And we are not really aware about this, but it is happening. We do not think the way we think we think. Yeah, try to say that 10 times in a row. The speaker of this webinar, Mikkel Holm Sørensen, gave several real life examples. And I have taken three interesting ones for this video that really inspired me. And I hope you find them inspiring too. Example number one, how do you get a customer to choose what you want them to choose? Taking three options, the brain most likely will go towards the middle one. Just think about when you go to Starbucks, you would choose the middle size, right? The small one is too small, the big one is too big, but the middle one is just right and you don't really care how much coffee is in there. So having three choices on a website, the brain will probably go through towards the middle one. Furthermore, the brain likes when something is a bit larger and highlighted. So if you have a website, your three products, you prefer it in the middle, make it a little bit larger, and then next to it, you put an ugly twin. A product which is similar, but a little more expensive. So really the brain says, whoa, this one is what I want. We all love our products, but does the consumer need to know everything? Remove the friction, tell them just the essentials. We only got seconds to grab their attention. The second example was if to offer a discount or gift card with a purchase. And again, the example was the insurance company. One week they used a discount, the second week they used the gift card. And it was the week with the gift card their increase was in the sales. The reason is that the brain loves a reward. So when you give a discount, it's like, oh, yeah, I saved some money, but it was probably be used for the everyday life. But with a gift card, it's like a present. It's yes, I got a present. I can buy something just for me. So it's an extra value giving to the product. The third example is actually one of my favorites. It is how to make the choice easier for the customer. The example was from a supermarket. One week they had the huge display, 24 different types of jam. It was colorful, it was attractive and creating a lot of attention, but sales were only at 3%. Another week they had a display with only six different jams and it was less attractive, but the sales were 30%, it's 10 times more. How come this difference in sales? And the reason is too much choice. The first time around, the brain calculated there was too much chance to make a mistake. While the second time around, there was not that many choices and the customer could choose with peace in his mind that this is the jam that I like. Does behavioral design work every time? I don't know, but I think it's a great addition to our toolbox when we try to increase our sales. Have you been thinking about examples, how your decision making has been influenced by behavioral design? Or are you already now working on some ideas how to use these methods for your brands and your products? Let me know. I look forward to hear from you. Have a great day.